today on Ice Truckers. Chasing a giant gorilla on ice. The play at the theater. Yeah. Actually, that'd be cool as if, like, there was a Donkey Kong movie, like, set as a prequel to the Mario movie and be like, it's in the style of a Broadway play sort of thing. I guess not. Well, at least we had time to install a communication system. Yes. Yes, I do have to make it time so specifically in a way. Sometimes, you know, spikes can feel like they get in the way, but icicles can grow on them unabated. You know, two spikes can exist in one space in conjunction with each other. Together at last, the camaraderie of insta-killing Mario is clear. How clear is it? I don't know, but I, I like how that just swapped the colors to indicate it was moving. That, um, I can't even tell if that's a lazy idea or not. I don't know. Can we get the three again? Oh, hell yeah. Even when there's a one right next to it. Can't stop me. Won't stop, can't stop. Alright. Please. Please, get me out the ice. It's too fucking cold. I'm gonna invent an ice Mario power-up so I don't feel so bad. That's a lot of ice, dude. Some, oh man, this is some grape ice. We made some grape ice pops on this bit of the iceberg, didn't we, did we not? That is the way that we want all the things. Please, please melt all of it so that my elevator time is easier than one might suggest. Or don't. I mean, that's cool, too. How uncool you are being to my uncool friends when this is the coolest place on Earth. You know what killed the dinosaurs, Batman? The Ice Age! <laughs> that's my adage. Come on, man. Oh, okay. Um... Does that work? Well, I mean, it would work if I had a key with me. Shit sauces. You know, I kind of have to make the floor for me to get, actually put that key in there, but... Uh, oh, oh dear. Not only does it make the platform, it, it makes the elevator go the other way. I don't, I don't see how that's going to be helpful. That's annoying. I've been burnt to a crisp. You, you think I would just suffer some sort of... Hail Fire Peak Syndrome, but I guess not. Well, let's not gonna do that again. Wouldn't be the first time. Sometimes you just miss that jump. And sometimes you gotta wear little booties to convince other people that you should exist. Go around. Go around like those Raphael Ravens. Ravens. Uh-huh. A likely story. You died in a fire in the middle of the ice. No one will ever believe you. Except you're dead, so I don't have to believe shit. I'll, I'll believe shit when you're dead, because that things the body does include uh, voiding the bowels, just, which is just kind of how... It's not really a... It's more of a physics thing. It's not like... Yeah, it's just what happens when you get unplugged. It's not really a sign of life, you know? Same with the rigor mortis stuff. It just means all the shit stops. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Da -da -da -da. And I, it would behoove you to have a sense of rigor for me to talk about some dude named Mortis. That's right, Morton did hear a who. And his name was Morty! Nah. I think for someone named Morty, he'd be more specifically associated with death, but I'm thinking of that one movie with the universal remote control, so never mind. Oh, man. If only I could stop him. If only I could place objects outside the screen. That might be helpful. Just let me scroll up next time, bro. Oh, yeah, I can't kill these things. I thought about it. I can't. Not happening today. But wait. What if there was... Alright, can I get all these items and get up there? I don't know. 
I, I think we're gonna have to just... Oh wait, no, okay. We can just do this again, that's fine. Alright, let's, let's take it from the other side then? Oh wait a minute. Ooh. It could go all the way, it does. So remember kids, don't build your door in the middle of nothing. You know, we need some supports in order to get inside. Locked up by my own hubris! <laughs> I'm going for another skinny dip. Except I'm not skinny, so it's what we call... in parlance, the chunky dunk. That's as exactly as interesting as it sounds. Uh, the colors are washed out today. Alright, everything under the water, we can throw a key at. To make my life thousands of times easier. Notice all the time I'm given. Yeah, good thing for that. At least item collection is just more of a take time out of your busy day sort of thing. But how busy was my day? It was so busy that I didn't have time to finish that joke. Oh, well, I can't grab the ladder that way. That's a shame. But wait. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm just gonna toss the key at you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get in there by using the ladder from the water. Or, or doing this. That works too. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go get it back and throw it against that other guy. Because I want him gone too. I want them all gone. Genocide against all sea life. There goes the genus! Genocide is basically what happens when you kill Gino. I mean, I'm not saying someone did that, but I have not seen Gino since he ever appeared. Me thinks there's a conspiracy going on to hide Gino's existence from the fact he doesn't exist. Or he just became a star and, you know, it's kind of like with the changelings in The Great Link. And so his personality is just like an aspect of the entire mesh of stars. So you can't really get him back that easily, unless you have this, like... Unless you tr time travel, I suppose. So, put a time travel plot into the next Super Mario RPG thing, Square. I don't know. There's been a lot of time travel plots, like, all the time. Hence why we travel them. Aha! But, there was a problem. I needed time to get this object. No. All right, I'll do it one more time. I don't know if that guy can actually hurt me, but I'm not taking that chance. After all the work I put into this. There we go. Make make the land. Then jump into the water from the bottom of it. Aquifers be damned. And then this other ladder is just so I can buy me more time. Although you could probably use it just to go up that way, but I have I have jumping power, so don't worry about it. It's just to look interesting, maybe. Interesting look you got there. Mind if I take a squeeze? Wow. I've got millions of Mario heads for my collection. If only it was represented by a one-up mushroom instead of my damn head. Okay, um, super fast. Yep. Not really... Not really leaving much to the imagination, this one. Oh well. I just noticed there's actually ice physics going on. That's usually weird, because I tend to note that in these games with ice, but it just didn't come up. I can't believe it. There's nothing about this game's difficulty suggested that ice physics was going to be the problem specifically. In an ice world! Now you must travel across the endless stepping stones. Amongst the purple lake that lives, glistens under the purple sky. Speaking of ice world, I'm actually cold, so I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Well, it, it's that time of year. 
where you know the AC has to overcompensate. So that's just what happens. It gets a little chilly. A trade-off I accept though, because heating during the winter costs way more money than air conditioning during the summer. Why that is? Probably something to do with literally energy making things hot. Okay, it's physics. There, ergo cash. Cash money. How do?